KDF serves with unflinching duty and admirable purpose. So today as you join the Kenya Defense Forces, remember that our military commands honor, respect, and admiration in our region and indeed across the globe. Our service men and women inspire confidence, patriotism, and pride in the hearts of our people. So as new service members of the Defense Force, I call upon you to follow in these footsteps and to perform your duties with a professionalism, honor, integrity, diligence, and courage that your colleagues are renowned for. You must always distinguish yourselves by carrying out your duties with discipline and deference to authority. <coughs> you must adhere to every norm, rule, and law that governs your operations, and you must be loyal to our nation, our values, as well as our institutions. In everything you do, whether in or out of uniform, whether on duty or off duty, you must always be above reproach and be the model soldier. So graduates, you have completed the basic training. As the phrase suggests, this is only the start. Do not rest on your laurels. Your military career calls for continuous training and development as well as improvement. You must wake up every day committed to going to bed a better soldier than when you woke up. Have a passion for your profession and take pride in your work. Be a soldier that future graduates will look up to and seek to model their behavior on. So ladies and gentlemen, as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, I take pride in the high standards that this organization holds in every arena, including the United Nations Security Council, that, is KD, that KDF is held in the very highest esteem. It is for that reason that whenever the world needs guardians to keep the peace in countries in turmoil, their eyes turn towards Kenya. <coughs> in this context, I wish to restate our commitment as a government to continue investing in KDF and our other national security agencies. And we will also continue to foster synergies between the Kenyan public and the security forces. Evidence is abound that such partnership is bound to yield excellent results in counterterrorism, border security, threat assessment, as well as planning. The message I am trying to pass to you today is that security is not a task delivered by the government alone. Every single Kenyan has a duty to ensure that our country remains peaceful and secure, as these two variables are key to the realization of a prosperous and cohesive Kenya that we all yearn for. Accordingly, I urge every Kenyan to work together in unity of purpose and to actively cooperate with our security agencies. Kenyans must have the courage to report any threat to our nation that may come into their knowledge. So ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, let me take this opportunity to congratulate the Chief of Defense Forces 
the commandant of this school, our officers, and all the service members of the Kenya Defense Force 